Hello, St. Mark's, and how are you? My name is Vicki Maxwell, and my husband, Tavis Maxwell, and I have been members of St. Mark's for about eight years. We normally attend the relevant worship service, and being a former elementary school teacher, I help with a lot of the children's activities, such as Sunday school, vacation Bible school, worship arts kids, and I also help on the St. Mark's preschool board. Before we begin, I have my three children, Mallory, fourth grade, Sydney, second grade, and Grady preschool, going to give us our readings today from the book of Psalms. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. Thanks, kids. Y'all did a great job. Now on to our morning manna. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the importance of humor and laughter. The early 20th century American civil rights lawyer Clarence Darrow said, if we lose the power to laugh, we lose the power to think. I love that quote. If we lose the power to laugh, we lose the power to think. And from a TEDx, Anthony McCartan said, if we can laugh together, we can live together. And I'd like to give you an example of how humor can be used to break down barriers and to diffuse tension. So Tavis and I were married in 2005 and we were gifted a dream honeymoon to Hawaii. And on the day that we were scheduled to leave, I woke up early and I prepped for the tri trip by wearing what my husband likes to make fun of me um, for wearing inappropriate footwear. And um, so at the time I, I thought that I'd rather be than practical. So off we go in my extra cute post-married honeymoon attire and we go off to the airport. And so when we get to the Richmond airport, our first flight to Atlanta was delayed. So um, no big deal. We got on and meant we would be a little bit more pushed for time when we got to Atlanta trying to make our connection to Hawaii. Of course we were on the back of the plane and it took us forever to get off the plane. Finally we got off the plane and we realized we were in the absolute wrong terminal. So we had to make a mad dash to make our connection. We're running super short on time. And um, we're running through the airport. Now keep in mind, I have one of these really cute shoes and um, Tavis, who is much more practical, is wearing sneakers. And so we're running as fast as my little legs and impractical shoes can, can um, take me. And he just says, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stop. Um, I'm gonna go to the gate and stop the plane and make sure that we get on. So I send him ahead and I keep on trucking through the airport, but somehow I end up outside the airport, outside of the Atlanta airport, I see daylight and I'm freaking out. And um, he's calling me on the phone and he's like, where are you, where are you? I stopped the gate, you know, we're gonna hold the plane for us. Just hurry, hurry, hurry to the gate. So I'm like crying basically on the phone and having to go back through security. Uh, and I guess the people in the security line saw this uh, girl who was crying, but looking super cute in her outfit. Um, and they let me cut through the line and get ahead of them. And somehow I, we make it to the gate. I make it to the gate before they closed it. And we get on the, we get on the flight and people thought that our seats were open so they had kind of taken over our seats. And here I am in full distress mode, and um, the flight attendant helps us um, get our seats back because I can't imagine taking this nine hour flight with my new husband um, and not being able to sit next to him. So we get, we get seated, the plane takes off, everything's good. And to know why, about three hours into the flight, a man, a couple rows back, has a heart attack. Now, it, it turns out he turned out fine but they have to land the plane to get him off the, the flight. And I think I'm finally, I think I'm, we're finally getting him off the plane, but the plane can't, can't take back off because they need some special over the international water uh, first aid bag before it can, before it can go back off, sit or take back off. And, um, we, sit, we end up sitting on the tarmac for who knows how long and who knows Podunk County, middle of the country, United States, and waiting for hours on the tarmac, just waiting for another, another first aid um, bag to make its way. 
um, to our airplane. So we finally get on, we finally get the plane and we end up getting to Hawaii, probably past when we would have, we should have just missed that connection flight. But we finally get there and we have an amazing, amazing honeymoon. Um, but it's, it's one of those times that we look back and we laugh about. And we think at the time it was really, really frustrating. And we were really, really, um, you know, I was panicking, um, things weren't going as we wanted, things that we had planned, things that we were, you know, just every, how everything went down. It just wasn't exactly what we wanted and what we expected. But we look back at it now and we can laugh at, at, laugh at it. And that's kind of how I'm taking this little stage of our life. Things have changed, things haven't been going our way. And um, I'm, I'm already starting to think how, like, we'll look back at this and we'll kind of laugh and we'll kind of think, well, you know, this was kind of unique. And it was, you know, there is some funny in it. There is some joy in this time when we're all a little panicky and a little bit frustrated but you know we're all gonna get through and we're it's all we're gonna look back and it's it's gonna be it's gonna just be fine and like my honeymoon was you know we're all we'll just have a great experience so um will you pray with me dear lord please help us with the frustrating challenges that we face help us find the humor and even if it's only to think back about how funny it is one day help us lord to learn to laugh about it now because humor breaks down barriers. Humor opens minds. Humor employs sympathy and humor forgives. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have given us. Amen. Thanks, St. Mark. I miss you all.